I have got, um, I've switched to a smaller book here, so it, it might be a little easier to see a close-up of this. And I'm um, just going to go ahead and thread up two needles on each end of my thread. I've actually cut a length of thread. It's probably about uh, two feet long, maybe a foot and a half. And um, entering the signature, same as before, and exiting the signature, same as before, and then evening up my threads somewhat, and um, go back in here. I'm going to. It's a flea circus. Okay, so doing that overhand beginning of a knot and pulling it. In this case, I'm going to pull it pretty snug because I'm going to try to really have a whole bunch of coils around that thread in the center. So I'm going to go in, enter from the top, Keep pulling snug, take my other needle, enter from the bottom, and we just want to kind of guide here. It's a bit persnickety. You just need a little patience, maybe some nice music in the background and a glass of wine, and you can continue this just gently moving this coil down along that center thread and you can continue doing this to have get as many coils as you would like onto that center thread. You can see that the waxed linen is really helping it stick here how well you can see that but this is all coiled and you can continue doing this so you do as many twists as you, as you'd like um, using a dark thread again because I think it's the best definition try not to get your threads twisted up in this process and pull away sort of using a little bit of strength tugging down along the thread and up across the coil so continue that for as many twists as you'd like and uh, that's just a more coiled tacket stitch looks kind of nice Okay, if I wanted to add a little bauble or charm to this at this point, I would just slide my needle through the top of the loop of the charm. And obviously it's going to depend on the size of the hole and the size of the needle. So be very aware of that when you're planning these things out. And I could place this anywhere. And all I'm going to do is go back under. I could leave it hanging loose like this if I'd like. So let's go under again. And then we're going to do basically what's known as a, let me get a little, let me do a little manipulating here. A surgeon's knot um, through the loop. Tighten it a bit and through that loop once more and that'll be very secure. Um, you probably wouldn't even need any glue on this one. Um, holding your loops 
where you want it to fall on your book. Push, trying to push it down and then push it, push the hole, I mean the knot down into position and tug on the other end. And that should give you a pretty good little secure knot. And I could trim it here. I'm leaving a little bit more at the top and trimming right up close at the bottom. I think I will definitely put a little glue right there. And then you can go ahead and untwist this thread and separate it and even have a little extra bit of embellishment there. Just separate these with your awl or with just by un, untwisting the threads. I think you get that idea. So there is a close-up and a, and a um, variation on the tacket stitch. That's kind of cute.